Hey, this is Rich from uh, Graphics Outfitters, and today we're going to talk uh, a little bit about the uh, Dactronics All Sport MX1. Uh, this is kind of a multi purpose uh, outdoor scoreboard controller. Um, comes with a power supply plug that's basically a USB adapter. Um, it is comes with a cable that feeds your 20 milliamp current loop that feeds your scoreboard. Um, one of the issues with the box is that it only has one current loop output, so there's no serial ports. There's no way that you look at this thing to get uh, any kind of externalized data to feed um, your live stream or other requirement that you might need to get externalized data out of this box. So we're going to take a look at it here. Um, this is what it looks like. It comes with some lights that show it's transmitting, status, power, um, kind of a waterproof box that uh, you control from either an Android or a iOS uh, application that you can download from either the Play Store or the App Store. So uh, it's all connected through Bluetooth. So we're going to take that and we're going to um, go into and we're going to connect to this. I've already got the app downloaded here. So I'm going to connect in my Bluetooth and it shows that the this is the device that's available. So I'm going to connect to that. So getting back to, you'll see it connecting up here and you'll see it start up. We've got a guest and a home. So on the right hand side, we have our Score HD uh, baseball application that you currently see uh, up. Um, so again, we're trying to get data out of this thing, but you've only got one current loop port and you really can't why uh, that current loop port because it's going to pro quite, quite probably affect your actual scoreboard it's attached to. So in this uh, instance we want to take the output of the AllSport uh, MX1 and we want to feed it into one of our uh, current loop distribution amplifiers. So this takes one 20 milliamp current loop input and it provides three reclocked 20 milliamp output. So you can take that and then distribute that to um, the scoreboard to your live stream for externalized data uh, or out to one of our score IP boxes. So we'll take a look at here is the actual current loop box. So it's got three outputs and it's got one BNC in. It's pretty simple. You just take the output of the MX1, feed it into the current loop input, and then your three current loop outputs. This is also great to use for in instances like a Dactronics 5000 or 4000 or 3000 where you don't have enough outputs coming out of those controllers or tied up feeding displays and stuff. So you can use one of these devices to give you additional um, reclocked 20 milliamp outputs. So um, again, back to our workflow, uh, we can also take the, one of the outputs and feed into our, um, our IP scoreboard streaming box called the score IP. Uh, this again is a little box. You plug in your scoreboard data into the back of it. Uh, you turn it on. It has a web interface to go in and to set it up. You can set it up for DHCP or static IP. So with something like this you could have, let's say you had a, a city and you had baseball fields and you wanted to be able to show to score uh, the base, the base positions, the teams scored your strike on your website at the city or any place else that you need to be able to get scoreboard data uh, distributed. So you put this on a local network and you can then get your scoreboard data on every uh, ethernet port in your facility if you set that up that way. So uh, we'll have another uh, series on this little box here. So this is the uh, preferred setup. So basically we're taking the 20 million current loop and we're parsing that data through our 
our box called Scorebridge, our, our parsing box, that, which runs as a client. So if we look into Scorebridge, we can see now that we're connected to it and we are pulling all of this data off of the uh, 20 milliamp current loop port. So what that actually looks like, it looks like a bunch of uh, gibberish, a bunch of jibber jabber. So that's what actually is coming out of the current loop port at 19,200 19, baud. So we're taking this data that's coming out and we are parsing that data. It's uh, kind of encrypted a little bit to get uh, to get our data points out into Scorebridge. So you can see in this, it has our home name, our away name, home guest. Uh, we have all the score by innings. We have uh, base positions, runs, hits, errors, ball strikes, basically almost all the information that you would normally get. So uh, for, for example, here we can come in and we can say, okay, for a guest, we're going to change that to uh, uh, RHS. Sorry, RHS. Still can't get it right. There we go. Done. We'll set that. And the team name changes in our baseball application. This would also change on the over the internet at your uh, for your web stream. And then we'll call this one uh, THS. I'll hit done and we'll set that. So now we've set our team names from the basically what I'm doing is I'm using it on my phone uh, as the Bluetooth source that is feeding this. And so again, if I come in and I change the scores, our scores change. Uh, you also have uh, balls, strikes. Um, we can change top and bottom of the innings. So you see that changing in the score bug itself. Outs, you'll see outs. Um, I can also show pitch counts. So again, these are all coming off of the application um, that we're looking at. If we bring out the score by inning, we can see that the score is, four, is currently 4-4. Four, four. Um, if we change that, that will modify onto the scoreboard, the score by inning information. So um, that's uh, a pretty basic overview of what it does. Um, another cool things it can do is like we can come in here, we can go to position, and we can actually uh, come into here and say, can say uh, we can show the base information. So currently the base uh, is currently, bases are empty. By using the, the player position data, I can then change. So man on first, uh, second base, set that, man on second. So uh, position center field will give me bases loaded. So real simple uh, little adaptation we did from the Vectronics feed from what's available in the application to run the base. So um, we'll get our app to turn back around here. Uh, so real simple um, overview of what it does. And so you have two parts. You have the MX1, again, uh, that comes out. The current loop, we break that down. Uh, we convert that to RS-232 on the other side. And then we parse that data uh, to give us the, uh, the externalized data feed from it. Um, we could also change the sponsors if you wanted to up in where the base information is. We can also have that programmed from the application to be able to change sponsor information. Um, and I think that's pretty much uh, we can show, we can change, we could put hits, errors, 
which are showing up in the, the uh, score to break. Um, and that's pretty much uh, really all it is and pretty much covers everything you need to get data out of your uh, MX1, All Sport MX1. And it's basically the same concept out of an All Sport 5000 or a 4000 or a 3000. Um, so that pretty much wraps up what we have to show you from the Dactronics MX1. Uh, again, this shows us if we use our score IP box that we can take the data and we can distribute it out onto the IP onto the web, so onto, onto the web uh, via static IP and that information can get uh, anywhere in the world off of that IP address. So if you wanted to have a series of these around, um, for instance, like at a, um, in a, in a conference and you wanted to get all your scores back to your uh, conference website to get your real time scoring information, then you could use score IP for that also. So that's pretty much uh, everything we have. And uh, thanks for uh, tuning in. If you have any questions, um, you can give us a call. And uh, we're at 858-530-9110. Thanks for watching.